This is a sad day for me. It's a sad day for me because no matter the differences that I have with anyone, you do not wish the worst on anybody, wherever your differences are. It's a sad day for me to see someone that I've been advising closely and from a distance. So it is a deep sense of loss that I have to be here to tell you, based on my investigation, that Jacob Dube, J. Israel, has passed away. Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. So, the demise of a young man called J. Israel went viral. And this was shared by Solomon's Temple. Solomon is a Nigerian, a journalist who is domiciled in South of Africa. He has been on to a lot of charlatans, people you call pastors, prophets. He has exposed a lot and we can call him credible. But then, no man on earth is infallible. Now, there is a friend of Jezreel, someone that has been an associate of Jezreel, according to what we've heard, according to Solomon, is called Profex. Now, this Profex, you know, this is where all of this gets a bit complicated. This Profex has been on pastors in Nigeria recently. He focused on Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufunye, Christ Mercy Land, Nigeria, Wari Delta State. It's about a child that got missing in Nigeria, in that church. And how J, um, how Profex, friend of J Israel, got involved in this is not yet clear because he has not been to Nigeria before. He's not domiciled in Nigeria. Of course, we live in um, an era where social media and you know connection, people can connect themselves easily. He took on this case and later we got to hear that this case and you know that he is involving um, has something to do with a not so popular actress in nigeria now let's leave that aside now solomon a journalist announced the death he said he has sources and these sources gave him the info that he put out there and i listened to his broadcast he said if prof x comes out if truly Prof X is alive and is not dead according to the info that he has he said we as journalists we do get information we are not infallible should this come out not to be true well i will call Prof X to come on my platform and i'll apologize to him but still i will tell him this is another chance for you to put your life right now putting his life right is also debatable but then you know these are people who speak about charlatans and they themselves are charlatans. Prof X, um, we've seen the dirty deals. He's not saying that he's a pastor. Of course, he attacks pastor because pastors put themselves out there as people of integrity, close to God. So when you see them in out of line, you can speak to them if you feel that is your calling or what you should do. Um, Prof X has not presented himself as you know a man of God. He's a guy man. A job man or whatever it is no problem but when you look at him and you ascribe integrity to him then you are fooling yourself that is why it is complex it is debatable and it's very dangerous now that being said j israel was announced dead but after this announcement j israel did not bring out his own face directly even though profex is friend that is why where it links together has come out to kind of um, rubbish Solomon and kind of repackage his friend, J. Israel. Both of them, from what we know, are involved in the same fraud, scam, blackmailing of um, criminals, pupilt bandits. Now, J. Israel, or whoever is his handler, released something to show that he is alive although that does not represent me that he's alive so let us go to this source you know it is now about my source told me i found out from my source my source did this my source did that now another source that is a blogger on our 
social media platform has something to say. So let us hear from this source what this source said he found out. Of requests I have been getting from different people who love me from all over the world. I will be coming live soon to talk to all those who have been and continue to pray with me with a great understanding of what God has deposited within me for his people. I love God with all my heart and for the sake of God's people. Later, I will give an announcement of the live broadcast. God is love. We can play and make jokes about everything, but it is inhuman, stomach churning, not sittingly painful and repulsive to play around with someone's death. It shows what hatred coupled up with self-righteousness and ungodliness can do. There is no one in their right state of mind unless they are either satanic or carry a demonic agenda against the children of God. Who can do such? God is love. Now, the painful part of it is this. I read your RIP message. It's so much, with so much pain in my heart, wondering why on earth would I be killed when I'm still alive? The pain of having to take away my mom's phone because of the multiple calls she was getting from people she doesn't know saying I have died is a memory that cannot be undone. And you see, God is love. That is who he is. Well, according to Solomon, he said it is something that everybody is aware of. He said he is aware of it. He said, J. Israel, who has presented himself as a renewed man of God, renewed person, back to Christ. That was the slang and that is what he wants people to see about him. He said, drug overdose. He said he, he is a very heavy cocaine user and a drug alcohol, you know, a lot of alcohol. He said... He passed away as a result of overdosing. That is what he said. Now, this is what he said in that video that made a lot of people believe in him, believe in what he said about J. Israel. Of course, um, there are people who know J. Israel very closely and they know what is true and what is not true. Let us hear him. From the reports that I got, I am in Durban right now. And in this city in Durban, J. Israel is sitting somewhere in the hospital suffering from stroke and a lot of from what i was told that the stroke actually came from excessive use and over overdose of drugs especially cocaine now, i'm telling you this some of you guys are still in believing that jay israel you'll be shocked it's like jay israel yes he uses drugs it's not a new thing so if you still if you feel you is this believable or it's a new thing for you i'm sorry that's who he is. Those are his struggles. So he's been in hospital for a couple of months now. He has lost so much weight. When you see him, you're going to feel sorry for him. Now, although this man that has been said to be dead has not come out life and direct, and Solomon probably has been advised or something happened. He decided to change the title of the video where he declared that Mr. J. Israel is dead. J. Israel, Israel Dube is dead. Um, well, you know, J. Israel himself, like I said, has not come out to say I am her life. I mean, physically do a video like you often would do. We are seeing write ups and all of that. And uh, according to J. Israel's friend, Profex, he wants Solomon to come out publicly to apologize for Hera. And I do not know why Solomon will do this if Prophex has not come out live and direct to say, I am alive. Um, well, Solomon said it's like J. Israel is trying to play, I am dead, but I'm alive. Um, and he ended up saying probably this will prompt um, people to want to believe him when he comes out to say I was on the mountain. Some people talked about my death. And now I am alive. And they said that Solomon played into his hands. You know, that has been the talk. But about apologizing, um, it will only be when Mr. J. Israel Dube comes out. That is when Tinash, that is called Profex, can say, come out to apologize. But then, um, I am not someone who wants to announce people's death. But according to Solomon, he said, the reason why I have been on this guy's Tale, and many other people's tale is because of the avoc, evil, wicked things that they've done to a lot of women. 
And, you know, many of these things trail J. Israel. It's there. I listened to one of his ex-girlfriend speak. And that does not mean that because the lady spoke, that is what it is. Anyone can speak about you in different ways that are not true. But this has always been a talk. And some I collaborate with what J. Israel said. He said, this guy is very occultic. He can use this person. He tried to wipe me with white handkerchief and... And this is exactly what J. Israel. So J. Israel has been involved in destroying people's life. You know, it's like that Yahoo Plus and then the type that they have in Ghana where they use women for rituals, use men for rituals and stuff like that. These guys also do the same for church, for ministry. What are your thoughts as regards to this one? Do you think that um, Solomon made a mistake? Do you think prophets is right? Do you think that uh, J. Israel himself is not a fraud, a scam? Let us meet at the comment section. Do not forget to like and share this video. And if you're just coming across this channel for the first time please tap on the subscribe button i say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded